The Dark Side of Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers, is psychology. Margaret McFarlane was a huge influence upon Fred Rogers. <clears throat> Take a look at this with me. Margaret McFarland, a child psychologist, okay? Let's read which influence she had upon Fred Rogers. In the 1950s, Fred Rogers began to co-host The Children's Corner a television show filmed in Pittsburgh with Josie Carney, or Carrie, Carrie, I guess. At the same time, he enrolled at the Pittsburgh Theological Seminary with the intent of utilizing religious training to further his television outreach to children. He was taking a seminary course in counseling and McFarlane supervised his counseling of a child as part of that class. After Rogers' course ended, they, they continued to meet with each other each week. Did you hear that? And when Rogers began working on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, McFarlane became a consultant to the show. McFarlane had a significant influence on the ways in which content was presented on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. She reviewed scripts for the show until her death. Are you listening, people? Fred Rogers was a product of psychology. And all the children that were under his influence that are now adults have been possessed by psychology, taken over by psychology. Is it any wonder we have the generation we have before us? How many know that Donald Trump's pastor, Norman Vincent Peale, was working with psychologists. Oh, yes. And how many know psychiatrists? Nothing different than psychologists. The only difference is they introduce drugs. You could easily say that Fred Rogers was involved without question in sorcery. Are you listening, people? De developmental psychology. Okay? That's what this is all about. And that what this gets into, this is where it gets really dark. Behaviorism. Okay? That's, that's control, by the way. And you know what they finally concluded? People can be controlled based on punishment, and reward. Isn't that interesting? Did you know that the uh, this whole movement right now on destroying poverty in the world, this whole movement is based on reward. If you will help to save the world, to save the poor, to feed the hungry, if you'll become an agent, we will reward you. And what is that reward? Free concert tickets. And they are coming by the scores. Are you listening? They have learned 
how to control people based upon reward. Reward. It's a counterfeit of the Lord. He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Satan comes along. He says, I will offer a reward. And I'll control the people. And if they don't obey me, if they don't do what I tell them to do, there's punishment. Listening. So psychology is taking over the world. This is socialism. Behaviorism is socialism. That's what it leads to, people. This is total control. But instead of controlling people against their will, they offer them an incentive to control them. Why do you think the United States is being taken over by reward programs? It's all part of their experiment. Fred Rogers was part of that experiment. Did you know that Fred Rogers encouraged children to to even express their darkness, to to express the, the darkness that was in them? He didn't speak negative of darkness. He didn't speak negative of, of dark behavior. He said, express it. Now we have an adult generation that was under Fred Rogers. that now is expressing the darkness that's in them. Are you listening? You see, they knew that they had to get the people to express themselves in a dark way to control them. This is socialism. Total control. It's a counterfeit. And if you don't think Donald Trump is part of it, you're sadly mistaken. Because Norman Vincent Peale was his pastor. And he was working with psychologists and psychiatrists. It's sorcery, people. How many know that Fred Rogers was a ventriloquist? That's demonic. That has its origin in demon possession, in necromancy. Right? So things are not as they appear. How many of you right now listening, you watched, religiously watched Fred Rogers as a child and didn't even know that subconsciously You was his patient. You were really not his patient. You were Margaret McFarland's patient. All those children that were being influenced by psychology. Do you know what psychology is? It's the study of the mind. Do you know what it means? It has to do with breathing. Okay? That's to do with breathing. You know what it really all this comes down to? Self control. How many know that's a counterfeit? Because the Bible says the gift of the Spirit of God, the fruit of the Spirit, is self control. But not self control as far as ourselves, but allowing the Holy Spirit to control us, to restrain us. And the counterfeit is you can learn behavior skills and control yourself. You can make yourself better by just the way you think. And they also believe this. I've been reading about it. What they believe is that if you change the environment, you can change the people. Okay, this 
has been going on for years now. My pastor was sharing how that right in the town where he was pastoring, they built a beautiful high-rise building for the homeless as an experiment to see how that they would treat that building. And instead of appreciating a roof over their head, a place to live, they went in and gutted the place, took all the the brass and everything that had any value to it and went and sold it so they could get the money to get their drugs. So changing the environment does not change the person. The idea also was put a, put a, uh, an old man in a new suit and you'll change the man. No. The idea behind psychology also is the way you dress. That's why Fred Rogers was a snappy dresser. Psychology. Everything Fred Rogers did on the show was influenced by psychology. Children were literally becoming seduced, led away, led astray, away from Jesus Christ. And yet Fred Rogers said he was a Christian. He asked his wife before he died, was I a sheep? Listen, people. When he gives this speech at the college, when he talks about, when he talks about, uh, Buddhism, Zen, he never mentions Jesus. He talks about how that the people had gone through some suffering and they experienced some suffering. I don't know what he was referring to. He said, but it was Zen, right? That's what he said, Zen, Buddhism, that helped you. It was the Zen spirits. That's what he said in his own words. He never mentioned Jesus. He never mentioned the gospel. Had a perfect opportunity to share Jesus Christ, and he didn't share Jesus Christ. So was Fred Rogers a sheep? Absolutely not. Not. He was a product of psychology. If he was teaching little children how to express their dark side, what do you think Fred was doing? Hello. What do you think Fred was doing, people? You suppose he was expressing his dark side? Don't be deceived. The devil knows what he's doing. He works psychology on Eve. Hath God said? He was working on Eve with psychology, working on her mind. And that serpent's still at it today. He wants to control you by punishment and reward. 